that is 2 raised to the 0 is 1 times 1 is 1. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So what we are having here is 7. Now if we are not having something like this, 1, 1, 1, this 2 square is equal to 7 times 7 according to what we are having here. So that will give us 49. Now we will not convert this 10. We will not convert this, this 10, 49 this 10, back to this 2. We are having something like this. 49. 49 divided by 2 will give us 24. 2 times 24 is 48. 49 minus 48. That's 1. We have 1 as a remainder. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. There's no remainder. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 times 6 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we are having 1 as remainder. And then, if you have 2, 1 divided by 2 is not possible, so we just write 0. And then we have 1 as a remainder. So we just said that we will not take our answers upward. Therefore, one, 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 base two square is equal to is equal to one, one, zero, zero, zero. 1 base 2, which is our final answer. That is, we first convert our 1 1 to base 7, and to base 10, we first convert it to base 10, getting 7 as our answer, 7 base 10. Then we now square it, we get 49. Now we now convert base 10 back to base 2. So, and we get this as our final answer. It is not left to you to know which one is fast, maybe in jam condition, when you have been test for smartness, because time waits for no man. You might choose to use the method we're using for solving question number six, or this. If you don't want to make a mistake, you choose to use this method, good and fine. If you use the previous method being used for question number six, Good or fine, you get the same answer. Question number eight. The sum of one one zero one one base two. One 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 base two and one zero 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 is one zero one zero m one zero n zero. Find the values of m and n. That is we have they've summed it up, but there are some missing values which is M and N. So we are going to sum these three figures in this two, and then look out for the missing values, which is M and N. That's what the question is actually asking of us to solve. So we will now write that, that's one, one, zero, one, one, which is in this two, then we have one, 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 1, 1, base 2, and then we have something that looks like 10,000, but not 10,000. It's not 10,000, though. This base 2. Don't be surprised if you see something like this in base 2. The value is not 10,000 error. And so we have base 2, base 2, and base 2. We now sum it up. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0. It's our remainder will be rising down here. So, 
In, remember, I said one plus one is two. So the power by two is one. That's our division, that is the multiple of two, is what we are going to bring here, while our remainder will write it down here. One plus one is two, plus one is three. Three divided by two is one, remainder one. Is the remainder you bring down here, you write as your answer, while we carry the multiple to this next figure. One plus one is two. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, remain that 0. Our multiple will bring it up here again. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 3 divided by 2 is 1, remain that 1. Bring our 1, remain that also down here. And then bring our multiple to this place. Here we'll see something quite different. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 divided by 2 is 0. Right. 4 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 0. There's imaginary 2 here. 2 divided by 2, remember I said 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 0. Write our remainder here and bring that 2 to this place. 2, then this 2 will now be having imaginary 0, imaginary 0, and imaginary 0, imaginary 0. Let's put our sign here. 2 plus 0 is 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is still remains 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 0. Then we now have, I said 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now I have a 1 here, yeah? our imaginary 0, our imaginary 0, imaginary 0. 1 plus all these 0 still give us 1. So this gives us our final answer in base 2. Now, they now ask us, according to the question, he said, um, all right, they gave us an answer of 10 and 10 n and 0. Bringing this answer down, we have 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1, 0. It resembles M is related to M. Therefore, we can say that M is equal to 0 and N is equal to 1 from what we, from this our answer, and then the answer being given to us from the question, this is the what, this is what we are having from the question. And then by the time we now equate the two, we are having our m is equal to zero and our n is equal to one, which gives us our final answer. Y is equal to 23 base 5 plus 101 base 3. Find Y. Leaving your answer in base 2. That is, we have to sum some, a number in base 5 and base 3, and then we'll leave our answer in base 2. The first thing we will first do is first convert 23 base 5 to base 10, and then we'll convert 101 base 3 to base 10. Then the answer we get from the 2 in this 10, we we'll sum it up. After we we'll sum it up, the answer we'll not get from that will not be what we'll now convert to this 2, which will be our final answer. So we'll now go to the board and then 
starts the start solving the question. The first thing is 23. You say y is equals to 23 is 5 plus 101 is 3. Is 3 according to the question. The first thing according to what I explained, I said we are going to convert to this 10. So 23 is 5 is equals to 2 times 5 raised from 1 plus 3 times 5 raised from 0. 2 times 5 raised from 1. 5 raised from 1 is 5. 2 times 5 is equals to 10. 3 raised from uh, 5 raised from 0 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, which is equals to 13 is 10. Then 101 is 3 is equals to the power 1 is equal to 1, 2. That will be 1 times 3 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 3 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 3 raised to power 0. And the integer raised to power 0 is 1. 1 times 3 raised to power 2, 3 raised to power 2 is 9. 1 times 9 is uh, 9. Plus 0 times any number, you want to raise to power 1000, you see it was 0. Well, 3 raised to power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So what we are having here is 9 plus 0 plus 1 is 10. 